Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to align any image in Word. Now if you want to learn how to insert images and crop them then just keep watching. So we've got six images here and what we're going to do is we're just going to do some simple alignment. So let's say for example I wanted to line these three images up perfectly. If I select one of the images and go to picture format over here I've got this very useful alignment tool and if I click on the drop down we've got a number of different options. Now they're relatively self-explanatory but they do work in different ways when you begin to group the images together. So down at the bottom here we've got distribute. That means that we can put an equal distance between our images both horizontally and vertically. And then just going down the horizontal, we can align images to line up to the left margin, the center of the images, and to the right. Same with vertical, align to top, middle, and bottom. So I'm going to show you how this all works. So the first thing you need to learn is how to select all of the images you want to align. And that's simply by holding down your command or control key and click on the various images. So let's say I want to line these up to the left-hand side here. Just go to align, click on the drop down and select align to left. And as you can see, they've all lined up to the left. And that will work equally well if you line them to the center or the right. So if we wanted to ensure there was an equal distance between the images, you can see this one's slightly less. Again, go up to align, click on the drop down and select distribute vertically. And if we deselect them, you can see there's an equal distance between those images. You can't see so well on this one. Now, let's say, for example, you wanted your images to stretch down all the way down to here, but you wanted them equally spaced. If you space the top and the bottom one out to exactly where you want them, and then once again, just click on all the images, go to picture format, go to align, and select distribute vertically, you'll see the middle one will move exactly in between those two others. And this will work no matter how many images you've got in alignment here. So let's say we wanted to align these three up in exactly the same way as these. I grab this image here. I would select this image here and make sure those two are aligned to the top. That means they'll be lined up at the top here. And again, with this one here, select those two and align to the bottom. Pop this one in the middle, select this one, go to align. And this time I'm going to align them to the middle. And that means that they're going to be lined up perfectly to the middle here. Now you can see that this one slightly moved and that one was perfectly in the middle. So what we can do now is group them together. So we know that these three are all perfectly lined up to the left hand edge. Let's just ensure all these three are lined up to the right hand edge. So we go to align to right. So we now know there's an equal distance between each of the image this way, but not necessarily this way. So what we can do is begin to group them together. So select these two, go to group and select group. These two, group and select group. And also these at the bottom. Now because I now have three groups, they all will be treated as one element by word. So let's just say these two pictures at the bottom were here and we wanted that equal distribution again, or this one's moved out. We can select these three groups, go to align, align to left, align, distribute vertically, and they'll all be perfectly lined up. If you want to group them all together, select them all, holding down the command or control key, go to group and select group. And now all the images are one group. If you now want to make sure it's perfectly aligned to your page, select the group, go to align, select align to center, align, align to middle. And now all of those images are perfectly lined up in the center of your page. If I select the group and then ungroup everything, select all the groups and then ungroup. If I was to select these two without grouping them together and try to align them to the center of the page, 
they will align to each other. So that won't work. So you have to group them together first and then align them to the page. So now we've covered alignment. If you want to know how to insert these images and how to crop them, then I'll show you how. So go to insert, go to picture, click on the drop down. Now you can select from the stock images that Word provides or you can select a picture from file. So if you want to select a picture from file, click on it. Select an image of your choice. Let's select this one here, click insert. And then if you want to crop this image, the first thing we need to do is right click on it, go to wrap text and select in front of text. That will enable you to now move this image around. And then secondly, go to picture format, go to crop, click on the drop down. You can just select crop or you can crop this to a shape or you can crop this to an aspect ratio. So let's select square one to one and then you'll see these black markers appear and some of the image is faded. What that allows you to do is to move the photograph to wherever you want it within the image or within the crop area and you can also reduce the crop area but if you've got a one-to-one -one crop make sure you click hold down the shift key and then move it otherwise you'll lose the aspect ratio. So you can crop more out if you want to and once again move that image around. Once you're done just press the return key and your image will be cropped. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.